Hello, darlings. Okay, so I want to talk about ascension and awakening. Okay, so these are buzzwords right now that as people are awakening, they're starting to hear it and starting to go like, what? What's going on? What are you talking about? Okay, well, so the awakening process for us, the, the, the soul in the meat suit, the awakening process for us is going to be about healing childhood triggers and childhood trauma and learning to go within and tap in to you. Tap into your higher self. Tap into your spirit team. We all have a spirit team. We all have spirit guides. We all have a team of entities that are with us 24-7 here to help our life, okay? So if, as we start to heal, if, as we start to really get into learning to live without the fear, that's really, I think, what the biggest part of awakening, the biggest benefit of awakening is that you quit living in fear. You turn yourself within. You know that you are all powerful. You can manifest anything. You have a spirit team that's taking care of you. Nothing's going to happen. You're divinely protected. That's how I go about my life. I am divinely protected. Every once in a while, they tell me I need to do something a little extra. Okay. Other than that, I just go on assuming that between Archangel Michael and the rest of my crew, ain't nothing going to touch me. So I'm not living in fear and it feels so fucking good. I mean, think about it, guys. What if things not turned out for you? It always turns out, right? In the, in the long run, everything turns out. You... It... So do yourself a favor and ask your spirit guides and your spirit team say, yo, spirit team, hook me up here. Help me out. How do I get through this? What's going on? Feel free to talk to your spirit team at any time. And then listen to what's going on in your head, what's being said in your head, what thoughts come to your head, because that's how they're going to talk to you. They're just going to put it in there or they're going to give you a vision, a visual, a, an, an image of something, right? The awakening process really, I mean, it's, it's, you're, you're going to need to dig down deep and figure out what it is that makes you react the way you do. And usually that kind of stuff is childhood trauma. You know, I mean, with my divine union, uh, di you know, dissection that I've been doing, my expose of me and what I've been doing and how I've been doing it and why, I, uh, the way that I reacted to all of the men and the, the insecure situations in the past were all based on childhood trauma you know, abandonment issues or, um, as you're awakening, you'll find that you'll find something that you're like, Oh, I have this, this thing that I'm, I'm, I know that I need to work on. I know that I need to, to, to get past this. Well, that's when you start coming in, you know, like tapping or, you know, you can do guided meditations that'll take you through and take you back to your childhood and be able to give your child, your childhood self a hug. It's fucking powerful. It's fucking powerful. Don't knock it. It is really powerful to be the one to go back to yourself as a child and be, I got you. Because guess what? You will always there be there for you. So it creates this sense of security for your childhood self and you'll see that it changes your now when you go back and do that kind of stuff it changes your now what else do i want to say about awakening there's so much to this meditation i'm going to do some more videos again um, on raising your vibration a lot of a lot of with the with the awakening with that seeing through the bullshit of the society around us you're going to find that things no longer resonate, right? That hustle and bustle, you know, 
got to bust your ass just to make fucking rent. It doesn't fucking resonate anymore. You're like, there's got to be something better than this, right? Or TV, what you're watching on TV, the type of stuff. And oh my gosh, as you start to awaken, as you start to raise your vibe, people will drop like flies from your life. People who are very low vibration people, right? So the ones that are always bitching and moaning and complaining, the ones that are that are always mad and angry and they're just those people that drain you when you're around them. They start dropping like flies because as you raise, they can't hang. They can't hang anymore. You're you're up here and they're down here. You can't, they, they can't hang. And so they just drop off and that kind of helps. But all of these different things that you can do to raise your vibration, like what kind of music you're listening to or what kind of things you're watching on TV or what you're doing to fill your, your background music or the background in your house. Are you one of those people that has Fox News or CNN playing 24 seven? Stop, stop fucking immediately, stop. It's all fucking make believe. They are trying to create fear. They want to keep us down low on that vibration chart. They know that if we're afraid and we are scared of what's coming in the future, then we're going to be looking for someone to come in and save us. No, no, we got this. We don't need you to save us. Thanks anyway. So they are creating the fear. They are creating and perpetuating the fear. The words you speak, like literally your choice of words matters. Here's, here's, here's one that I was shown early on and then read a book about it and it just like <clears throat> hit my, hit me hard. Um, what was the book? The book is the Liberty of language revealed. I don't have it in here. It's in the other room on the bookshelf. Liberty of language revealed cheesy story kind of, but it really beautifully exemplifies how, what words you say fucking matter. Here's what I started, started this with trying. Oh, I'm trying to do this. I've been trying really hard to meditate every day. Guess what? Trying is failing. Trying means eh, eh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Now, I'm working on meditating every day is a totally different fucking sentence. It means I'm actively doing something to achieve my goals. Trying is trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Fucking little engine that could was limiting himself. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can do it. That's kind of like trying. I'm trying to do it. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. It's a totally different, but see so, what I'm saying? Words matter. How you spray, how you say things, how you put things out into the universe, it matters. It so fucking matters. You wake up in the morning, when you see somebody first thing in the morning, first person you see, and they say, good morning, how do you respond? <laughs> you grumble and blah, blah, blah. Or do you go, you know what? Yeah, I think it's going to be a great day. Go ahead and put that intention out into the universe. So much better. Okay. Um, I went off on fucking tangents that really aren't. I mean, I guess they're kind of, I was talking about raising your vibrations. So I guess it does kind of go together. But anyway, um, I think that's it on, on, I just wanted to give a, a quick ascension versus awakening. And if anybody out there has like add-ons or if you understand it differently, feel free to say so in the comments. Um, I am still learning. Okay. I am not in any way, shape or form the end all be all in, of knowledge. I am, I'm still learning every day. I'm working on getting great understanding. I mean, you guys have seen how deep I go in my in my little rabbit holes. I'm I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm I'm working on this. So anyway, <sighs> go raise your vibe. Do something to raise your vibe today. Go do something that lets your inner child have fun. All right, I love you guys. <laughs>